morning. It is Saturday and we are back home. We've been back home, but I got to wake up in my own bed. No matter how fun traveling is, it's always great to wake up in your own bed, I think. Anyway, while we were gone, I got a couple of packages that I put away. Okay, never mind. I'm still in my pajamas, even though it is after 11 o'clock in the morning, because I have been playing in front of my computer. I designed a new intro that'll be rolling out in July and a new end slate that you'll have seen already that I'm not going to show you but I got a package from Butter London of I think you remember I talked about they sent me an orange lip crayon called Ladybird that I really like and they sent me the rest it's one two three four five six seven, seven more shades like Trout Pout and Toff so I think I'll feature them in maybe in an upcoming haul and then do a blog post where you can get more information about them because it forces me to write blog posts, which for me are fun because it's challenging. It's something different and I like to challenge myself. So I'm doing that, but then my chick wish, I call it chick wish, it's chic, it's C-H-I-C wish. So it's chic, chic wish, but I like chick wish because it has the same vowel sound. And I got a couple of things. I've had my eye on this skirt for a while. It's it's a midi skirt and it's black and white. And I think it would look cute and very ladylike with a pair of black pumps and a black fitted shirt tucked in. But I think it would also look really good with like a bright pop of color kind of pump, like a hot pink pump or a bright red or bright green or something. So I'm on the lookout for that. I ordered this. Let's see if I can hang it on the steamer. I ordered this. It looks like a giant tent, right? It's a kind of a midi maxi dress, very flowy. And it comes, it's sleeveless, I think you can see that. And I like this v-neck. It comes with this flimsy little tie belt. I think I'm going to wear it with this patent leather belt in blue that I got from Target. And then, and I might wear that to my Kendra Scott meetup, I'm not sure. And then, these all need to be steamed. I thought this was really cute. We'll see how see-through it is. It's pretty, oh dear, we'll see. Um, it's just a off-white, kind of drop waist, pleated, kind of flapper style dress. And I do have an event coming up in October. It's a white party. Now October in San Antonio means it's still 90 degrees outside and there's gonna be dancing, so I wanna be cool. And I saw that and I thought, I, ha I have to have it. Now the total sum of all three of those items is some, it was under $100. It was 80 something, I think, for all three. So it's ridiculous. It's, the prices are so cheap from Chic Wish. This is my second order. And you know, this, these aren't materials that are gonna last you the, till the end of time, I don't think. But for these prices, you can really have fun with some trendy stuff. The shipping is very slow, uh, but it is, you know, you have to allow like two or three weeks for it to show up. However, I paid $8 for expedited shipping, and once it did ship, it took two days to get here. So that's pretty amazing. And I know a lot of people um, in real life that have ordered from there and really love the, the clothes, and obviously I've ordered there twice, so I'm loving it. But anyway, I am now finally got some of the like work stuff out of the way, and um, Michael and the boys went to go pick up the dogs from our kennel. They all had a bath, and I can't wait to see them. I just washed my face and my face is drying up. And on tap today, I am planning on filming my June favorites, which is my favorite video to film, or my favorites videos. They're just so much fun, because it's all happy and positive and all that stuff. So, I better go wash up, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, a number of you told me to go look up these planners that I can't remember the name of, Creative 365, My Happy Place, something like that, at Hobby Lobby. So, that's where we're headed. Not a huge fan of Hobby Lobby, I have to say, but sometimes it's just where you gotta go. So we're gonna grab a cart, because there may be many things purchased. Michael's like, the heck there is. He's gone. And uh, we'll see what, I may end up with some other goodies as well. I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, after roaming through the whole store and three employees helping me, I did find where the planners go, where they should be and they should be sitting in these wire baskets. <laughs> Unfortunately, they are all sold out, but they have a lot of cute accessories. There's somebody behind me, so. Um, but I did get the stickers, because I think those could be good no matter what planner I get. Some stickers are good, and these are gold. I don't know, I'm gonna look at the accessories. Foil and glitter, 
I don't know what this stuff is. If this would work with the Erin Condren or a personal, no, it's gotta have, it's that special, I don't know. It's that special arc system, which I think is really cool. I think I'm gonna like my Erin Condren planner, even though the service bit the hoo-ha. I am purposely making my life harder than it needs to be. I am, in, in, in trying to organize it better, I'm making it more complicated. Talk about overthinking. But there are some really cute, like I can see why you would really get into this, because there's a ton of stuff that's really cute. And what makes this better in many ways than the Erin Condren is it has that universal punch thing, so you can add anything you want. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it, damn it. I'm at Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go to Michael's. I'm gonna find it. I'm on a mission. Okay, the good news is they do have the planners. They don't have the exact planner I wanted. I wanted the one, it's gold like this, but it's it's a white cover with gold dots. They didn't, This is the only mostly gold one they have. But now that I'm holding this guy in my hand, let me flip you around. I find it to be very flimsy. These things just, it flip. I don't know. I know that um, Emily Clark just got one and she loves it. And it does, the pages do turn nicely, but I just, I don't know, there's something about this I don't love. And the light's not great in here, guys. These little boxes are very narrow. I mean, I think I'd rather have, I like a lot of these things, but I can tell that I'm not gonna be, you'd have to write teeny tiny to write your lists in here. So I think that I'm glad that I was able to see this in person and know, let me put this back because someone else may want it. I'm just gonna put it out there, it's $24.99 and they always have 40% off coupons. So if this is something you're into, it does have a lot of options because you can add so many things to it. These lovely little dividers, I don't know what you would do with that because you need tabs, but what have you. There's a home planner. There's really great things to add and there's really pretty little things to go with it. But um, I think, and I like these little block note things and pads because the accessories are amazing but I think I'm gonna like the way the Erin Planner Erin Condren Planner is set up even though their customer service was utter and absolute crap but I just wanted you to get a peek at that in case that that's something you're interested in it's the creative 365 the happy planner and it's put up by me and my big ideas and it's $24.99 at Michaels and it's at Hobby Lobby but they didn't they were sold out as well but I'm glad I bought the stickers, because stickers are always fun. Where are we off to next, babe? We're gonna get the waiting pool? For the dogs. For the dogs. The West is the small room. I'll fill you in on that at the next spot. Back from our errand running, we went to Walmart. Apparently, when Michael picked the dogs up from the kennel today, the kennel owner told him that the Westies really enjoy jumping into baby pools, which I find hard to believe. Um, but we bought them a little blow-up baby pool that hopefully the little Westie nails won't break. And we're just taking a little walk outside. Where Bosley's gonna pee on my roses. Oh, good girl, Mimi. You're almost in the grass. What is wrong with her? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go potty. Come on, people. Shoo! Move. No, not there. Anyway. It is so humid outside. The air is so thick. It's supposed to rain again tonight and the rest of the week. San Antonio is uh, changing climate. Oh, wait, there's something out there. What do you guys see? What do you see? What's out there? I don't see anything. Sometimes the deer come right up to the fence. But a lot of birds. A lot of birds. What do you see, Riggs? Did you see something? Time for a face cut. Your body's short, but he needs a little face cut. I like keeping his... I like the Westies with a really short cut. Anyway, the air is so thick, it's almost unbearable to be out here. So I'm gonna make sure that everybody gets a run around the yard and bring the dogs back in. And we're gonna hang with Shane. Jake's working till midnight, cooking those burgers. And uh, we're gonna watch a little TV with Shane. He's into this new show called Proof. We filmed it, we have the first, we watched the first episode, we haven't watched the second episode yet. I'm not sure how. I like the show or not. It's an interesting premise. If you've watched Proof, let me know what you think of it. Anyway, um, I'm going to say goodbye because I'm 
like I can feel water evaporating from me. It's just, oh, it's so sticky. Blech. I would never live in the southeast. I don't know how people in Houston handle it. I cannot. So, good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, we are at Love Field in Dallas, which I think might be my favorite airport that I've ever been to in the United States anyway. Heathrow is still my favorite just because the duty-free shopping is unbelievable.